Hi, my name is Ian. I am a senior innovation consultant with Scale North, and today we're going to discuss automated cash application in NetSuite. This feature enables you to automatically generate a batch of customer payments in NetSuite and apply them to open invoices. The generated customer payments are then automatically matched and cleared in the system. Now, before you manually match transactions, you should use automated cash application feature to generate all customer payments first from your imported bank lines and then match them. After all customer payments have been handled, then that's the time you manually match the remaining transactions. Now let's import sample bank lines here and then choose the file. Select your financial institution and then import. Let's check the status and then that's complete. And now let's go back on the match bank data page. And as you can see, all the bank lines are here. These are my collections for the invoices. And now I want to create a payment transaction for each of these bank line. And then best practice, always start with automated cash application before uh, matching your transactions with your normal bank reconciliation. So let's click this one. Let's take, for example, this one. Let's view. All right, so here the invoice ID 3 to 1 has a matching bank line here. Let's take a look on the actual bank import file. The bank line gives clue on what invoice number this collection will be applied to. Now, an example of exact match is this one because we have a specific invoice number. And then the next one is a preferred match. Right? If there is no exact match, then we will use the mapping rule. So to create that rule, all you have to do is uh, for this kind of memo, for example, and this kind of payor, I will match that to Abbott. Okay. So for every time I have an Anatoly Appellate here, then I would say to NetSuite, match that to Abbott invoices moving forward. Okay. So make that rule. And now NetSuite will save that rule and apply that to future bank imports. So you can actually view the rules that you've created if you wish to update and delete this rule, just click the delete icon here and recreate the rule on this screen. Now let's, let's take a look here and then next week will actually match based on the amount and based on the date. There is a preference for that one under the accounts receivable light payments without invoice number here. So by default, this is your selection. Apply by payment amount first, then apply to based on the oldest invoice first. Before you hit submit, okay, make sure to check that one. Ready to submit? There will be six customer payments that will be created. Let's wait for that one. And now it's complete. Now let's go back to the match bank data page and if you notice, all of those bank credits disappeared because they are now here on the reconcile account statement. And then if you click on the review, they are automatically matched by the system. Thanks for watching. 